in this video we're going to have a look at cropping to a specific size. In the last video we saw that you can crop just to get rid of information you don't want on the image, but it might be you want to crop to a specific size. For this example we're going to have a look at 6 by 4 inches to, in reference rather to the um, standard print size that you might get from a photo lab. They'd normally give you a 6 by 5 in, 6 by 4 inch print. So I've got the crop tool selected on the toolbox. So the options are for the crop tool and we've got width and height and resolution here and then we can choose the resolution is either displayed in pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter. 6 by 4 inches is around about 10 by 15 centimeters or 15 by 10 centimeters rather but something to be aware of is the units that your program is measuring to if i type 6 into the width and 4 into the height because my resolution is set to pixels per inch you'd imagine that they were measuring inches but now i can see it's six by four centimeters. That is a problem because it is much, much smaller than the six by four inch paper that we're looking for. It's also technically a slightly different ratio as well. To change this, it's again in the preferences. Remember for Photoshop on a Windows based machine, it would be edit preferences. But on my Mac it's Photoshop and Preferences, and then Units and Rulers, and if I change the ruler to Inches, and then click OK to confirm that, and retype my numbers, so 6 by 4, and you can see it's put it in as Inches now. So if I go for my crop box, well, I've got my crop already. If I position the left mouse, the mouse cursor where I want, press and hold the left mouse button, and draw out my crop box. Note that it can only be drawn to that size. I can't make it a square. I can't make it a very elongated rectangle. I can only crop now to that aspect ratio of 6 by 4 inches. I can reposition my crop box by positioning the mouse cursor inside the box, pressing and holding the left mouse button and moving it around. So that's my 6 by 4 inch box. Concentrate on my little apple. So if I click the tick now to confirm the crop, and there's my new image, and I know it's only going to be 6 by 4 inches. So that is cropping to a fixed ratio. If I wanted to crop to 4 to 6 inches, all I'd have to do is either type 4 and 6 in the width and height. Remember the first number in sizing with photos always is the width first and then height. I can also click on the switch or swap height and width tool and then again draw out my box. Do be aware as with lots of tools within Photoshop where you can enter information, we have our scrubby slider. If I position my mouse cursor over the width, press and hold the left mouse button and I can change that number by dragging the mouse left and right. So position the mouse cursor over the top of a word, press and hold the left mouse button and then drag left or right to increase or decrease 
the size. If you've put incorrect numbers into the width and height, or if we want to get rid of it, we could just clear the boxes with the clear button. We can also right click on the tool icon and click reset tool or reset all tools. And we'll get the pop up box saying reset all tools to default settings. If I click OK, and then everything is set back to default settings. That is cropping to a fixed size.